if I pop agitators and their leader Nam the Kano is serious about leaving the detention of TSS custody, he should drop agitations for Biafra Nation. <laughs> Imo State Governor Huzodima. Huzodima don't come again. So these are the Igbo leaders suggesting this to the Nigerian government for Namdi Kanu to drop agitations first before he's, he's released from detention. This thing is not good though. Now I begin to understand why people will say your worst enemy is the member of your household. He's playing out in, in this Mazen Namdi Kanu's case. And true, true, now truth be that. You see, this matter of Mazen Namdi Kanu, don't you think that if the federal government is just acting on their own with Mazen Namdi Kanu and agitators and knowing to where that the Igbo leaders are against is uh, abduction from Kenya, they would have released him. But no, something has been fishing, something has been playing out. When I know, say, IPOP don't talk this matter tire, say some Igbo uh, governors and their leaders, they are against Mazen Namdi Kanu's freedom. Now he done the come out. And these are the same people who the chair Mazenam the Canons released recently. You can imagine. You can imagine yesterday, Devil Mai said Nam the Kano destroyed Igbo nation because of Biafra agitation. See, life is not like this. So if you feel that you are okay in your little space, what about others? Because all these people who are saying no Biafra, this and that, is because they are benefiting from the current government. You understand? If they are not benefiting, they will join to clap. Let Biafra come. That is the truth. You keep quiet. Atrot cities is being you know, carried out in your states. And you are not moved. Last year, Sari Dokubo said it openly. That his army, his private army, is among the Ebubago in Imo State, in uh, Eboin State, and the Anambra. You understand? And you should understand what these people have been doing. Ebubago turned to something else in the Southeast. These are private army from Asari de Kobo, which Hope Uzodema employed to finish his own people. Then, when all this atrocity is being committed, you go say, I poor agitators. You know, I'll be asking this question. In the Kano, who is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, is from Abia State. So, even if, say, Abia people go one verse where we now their state, they're supposed to divest, say, this insecurity in the Southeast. But it's not like that. Abia is Kamo. But this Uzodima state is the epicenter of insecurity in the Southeast because they just want to call dog a bad name. How can you give such condition that he should drop agitations if they are serious? So all this release Mazen and the Kano, he's just pretense. You just want to talk so that people will say you have spoken. Even Mazen Nam, the Kano family, they don't, you don't tell when they, they point their hand. He deny. He they deny. Even that initial time he was adopted, they call him out. He deny him. He say his hand is clean, oh, this, this, and that, and all that. But there is no fire. I mean, there is no smoke without fire. How did they talk him? You can imagine. When I go talk this one tomorrow, when I go come talk another one, why are we like this? Apart from Mazen Nam, the Kano self, is he not being worried about the deaths in his state, the destructions of properties, the destructions of people's livelihood? Is he not worried about it? When they don't buy everybody finish for your own state, when everybody, when they don't buy everybody finish, you will come talk who you will govern. This is somebody who, who has been discharged and acquitted. If you can also remember. The words of the former AGF, Abubakar Malami, when um, he was in, the, he was in the office, organizing the approached President Muhammad Buhari concerning Mazen Namdekanu's 
release and political solution they suggested. He said they should go and appeal to Igbo leaders for Mazen Namdi Kanu's release. So you can now understand that Namdi Kanu's release is not in the hands of Nigerian government. So now they are leaders. Now in the whole of why? Selfish interest, I guess. They are spending a lot of money when you talk about security votes, uh, whatever. So they don't want to stop collecting that money. Even when there is no trouble, they will cause trouble and say, I problem. Now, the issue is even complicated right now because they have given way for demons to sit and take over. The issue is complicated. They complicated their issues. Dev is now crying that Namde Kano has destroyed the Southeast region, but they caused their own problem by prescribing IPOB as an organization. They started this. When they started, no big flag that they carry. Southeast governors never saw sleep again because they were thinking that, oh, these people, they want remove us from our comfort zone. That's so they use night, turn day, make sure that IPOP is prescribed. And that is the beginning of doom in the Southeast. They introduce Operation Python Dan 1, Python Dan 2, Python Dan 3, even to 4. They name them another one. They open their eyes, Nigerian soldiers. They buy their young, their young ones. The youths who are supposed to take over from them. Majority of people have disappeared. These security people, they could just disappear them. You know, say so when it happened to that one, now you go here. They could disappear them. There is no famine in the southeast. Mostly in that Imo state that does not have one story or two to tell. Since this issue of agitations is a pity to say. So sad. I'm dropping it here, guys. Let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.